Good morning. I'm so tired. My period is starting literally any day. I feel like it's gonna start today or tomorrow. There's also the amount of stuff that's happened this week, both work-wise, personal shit-wise, family why like there's just been so much going on this week this is not a normal week i don't know what is in the water and what's crazy is mercury's out of gatorade i always say gatorade and everyone like laughs in the comments but i'm like i know i know it's retrograde like i know the truth i haven't even had a sip of my coffee yet which that's probably why i'm exhausted <sighs> the first sip gives you life the dopamine in my brain that just was released amazing so I don't know if anyone else has had like a crazy week, but you know, we are we are trucking through. I just got to TK's podcast studio. I am going to be on it. I always love coming on here. I am full fetus though. I did not get ready because I needed sleep. I also still have like lash glue on my lashes. I should care more. So let's do this. Good morning, Slay. Good morning, how are you? So tired. Really? Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> I can, but that's okay. Your hair looks great. Thank you. I feel like it doesn't, but I was in a rush. It's okay, you're gonna look great next to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just recorded for two hours. Yeah. I loved that. Sorry, I was silly, goofy in the beginning. What do you mean? I was like delirious. I don't think you were at all. I, I, I like had to stop and be like, wait, this is your podcast. I should let you talk. <laughs> no, 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 you did great. She's um, back in the stew. Back in the stew. Everyone go watch it. Um, when's it coming out? I don't know yet. Okay. I can let you know. That was a great episode. I loved it. I oh loved my God. It too. You're so good at questions. No, you are so good at answering them. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not good at questions, so I don't know where you're going with that. But you're good at like, explaining yourself. I knew you would go on some good ass tangents. Uh, I hope it was good. Alicia's the hardest guest to book. I am so sorry. No, I mean, it's it was, okay. You're just booked Even busy. yesterday, I didn't realize I had it, so I saw my schedule. I was like, fuck. And I was like, I can't reschedule because I've rescheduled this four times. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. I just wore no makeup. No, but you also <laughs> just gave me two hours of recording, which is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks for coming on. Anytime, bitch. <laughs> I wish it was that quick to get ready in real life every day. A lovely, what, seven seconds? How long was that? But welcome to the vlog, you guys. I leave for Europe tomorrow and I have not packed anything. So that is my goal for today. So I obviously have to do that. We did just finish the makeup. I obviously went for a very red burgundy. I don't know. This has been my favorite type of makeup look ever since I dyed my hair, like matching the red vibes. I also used the Rare Beauty lip oil finally. I feel like so many people have talked and raved about these on, on TikTok and stuff. And it's so different than how I thought it was going to be. I'm going to check in at the end of the day and see how I like it. I'm also gonna have lunch probably within the next hour and I'm so curious what it's gonna look like. It's more dry. It's not that it's dry. It's just it feels more dry than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like boom gloss kind of like the duo like these ones like a gloss. I guess I thought it would be more like a gloss but I think it's working more like a tint maybe. I don't know but let me know if you like this. I use the color Honesty. I also filmed some reels and TikToks so go follow me on that. Okay, I'm using my smaller suitcase because I really am just hoping I can consolidate the fits, actually try stuff on so I know exactly what I want, what I'm doing. What I need to do though is really figure out exactly all the things that we're gonna be doing. I said this in a recent vlog, but I'm going actually for a wedding. One of my really good friends, her name's Haley, and I'm so excited. This is my first destination wedding. And it's crazy because I'm like, maybe this will convince me to have a destination wedding myself. Like I could see me doing that. We're there for about a week or so. And I know we have like the welcome party, a welcome party, a wine tasting thing, obviously the actual wedding. I think those are the only quote, not obligations, but things planned. I keep saying this, but now that my hair is red, I swear the color palette of things to wear have dwindled down so much. Green is like my go-to, brown, black and white. And the thing is, is a lot of my clothes are white, but obviously I'm going for a wedding. So I need to make sure I don't bring white stuff on the days we're doing things with the bride, because I would be triggered if I was a bride and someone was also wearing white. And I'm like, mm, babes, it's my day. <laughs> I did try on a few outfits earlier. Insert photos here. It's my first time in Italy. I'm like, what's the vibe? Also, weather-wise, I think 
it's not it's it's good maybe a little chilly which honestly i would rather that over super humid and i like i don't want to sweat 24 7 maybe just like two hours of the day <laughs> because i swear like y'all my under boob sweat is not it like i'll wear dresses and they'll just be like boob sweat here and i swear it's like once i got botox in my face I stopped sweating so much on my face, which is great, which is nice. You know, the makeup lasts longer. But suddenly I looked down, my boob sweat would get so much worse. And I was like, oh my God, I feel like it migrated from there because of the Botox and now my under... So now I like have to be very picky and careful with what dresses I wear and shirts. But like dresses specifically, I feel like it's just very obvious when there's boob sweat. So anyways, y'all don't care. Ugh, I hate trying clothes on, but I really should do it. Also, I'm starting my period at any second. So I obviously need to keep that in mind, you know, with some of this, these these fits I pack, because maybe now I feel great in them, but period bloated Alicia may only want to wear a t-shirt and sweatpants. So, <laughs> Ween, she knows I'm leaving. She's so sad. Honey. She hates suitcases. You look so cute. You're gonna have such a fun time with grandma and grandpa and Bentley and Theo and Chloe. Does anyone else's pet get triggered when they see suitcases? She always ends up hopping in it at some point. Like, don't leave me. And it's so sad, like I could cry. We're gonna be taking a train at some point. So that's why I really am hoping I can fit everything in my medium size suitcase instead of my really big one because I'm gonna have to be hauling that. It's your favorite time. It's actually been a while since we've done this. It is salad shake time. <laughs> Today we got sweet green. I feel like I haven't had sweet green in a hot minute. Let me like say my whole order for you guys. Today we did arugula, spring mix, avocado. I asked for double chicken. Okay, some of y'all are gonna absolutely think I'm disgusting, but I love their beets, okay? The little purple beet things, but they're not pickled. They're like real raw beets. And I swear they're like so sweet. They're so good. They're also very good for you. Only at sweet green though. I've never really had them anywhere else that I like. Like, I don't really like the pickled kind, but I love, love, love the beets at Sweet Green. We also have cucumber, carrots, tomato, cilantro. That's something I always do. And then we got the balsamic vinaigrette. And that is the Sweet Green order. While I eat, I'm gonna make a to-do list. <laughs> What's the date? <laughs> oh, 5, 19, 23. My mom's birthday is in a few days, so let me write down. Get <laughs> mom B day present. I should get that so I can give it to her today. Because I'm going to see her tonight. Packing. We need to make up toiletries, meds, contact. I just did laundry slay. Round of applause for me. Slay, 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 slay. I got a new carry-on suitcase that I'm very excited to try because in Tokyo, when I tell you my back, like I'm old to say the least. It was so bad and miserable. I was like almost in tears because my back hurt so bad because I was carrying my backpack, which had my camera, my both my hard drives, my laptop, my charger, like everything and all that stuff is so heavy. And then I also had my like tote bag, which had a whole bunch of other stuff too. And I got like these big waters and stuff. So literally while I was sitting on the plane, I was like, I can't do this anymore. I need to start using an actual like rolly carry on, but I'll show you which one I got because I actually think it's perfect just because I know my quirks and I know how picky I am with things. I think this one's going to be very practical and very functional for me. So I'm excited for that. I need to put my shampoo and conditioner and travel size stuff. Also, I'm so excited. I finally got a new vlog camera in that I need to, I wanted to film me doing like an unboxing and stuff. So maybe I should film that today or maybe I'll film that tomorrow morning before I leave. Vlog camera on boxing. I always forget to download YouTube videos or specific songs, like just any entertainment stuff for the flight. Like I always forget until I'm in the airport and then I have bad Wi-Fi and it won't download fully. I need to work on a TikTok schedule. Mm. I know there's so much more. Over main channel video ideas. Oh yeah. Oh! My main channel. <laughs> Today I really wanted to edit. Okay, wait, edit main channel vid. I also need to film my case defy sponsor, which 
This is perfect timing. This is the perfect time to give a shout out to our sponsor, which is Casetify. I'm really excited because one, they sent me this case. Just look how cute that is, especially with my little French tip we got going on. It's so cute, Italian summer vibes, you know? As you guys know, Casetify is known for their cases mostly. They have amazing thousands of different types of customizable cases that you can make. They have extremely durable ones. I have a collab with them. Slight flex. But they also have a ton of accessories, including rope straps like this. I used to always want to wear the phone lanyard things because it's so much safer for your phone. No one can pickpocket out of your back pocket, whether it's like a festival or you're traveling or you're going to Italy. And if you're like me, you like options so you can actually coordinate your outfits with your phone cases and you know, just feel cute. When you get them in the mail, this is really important. They come with these little strap cards that look like this, okay? And my favorite part about this is it doesn't have to stick to your phone case so you don't ruin it. This just literally sits in here. You put the D-ring out at the very bottom where you charge your phone. You snap your phone in. And then that way, if you wanna have the rope on, all you have to do is snap it there and put it around your neck. When you're traveling, get your stories, get your content, get whatever. I will be using this a lot in Italy, especially when I'm carrying like my vlog camera and everything like that. But what's really nice too is the fact that you can just unhook it for whatever reason, but the little ring is there if you ever need it. Super fashionable, but also very functional. The straps are super adjustable, so now I can even have it as like a crossbody if you want to, or a wristlet. Honestly, straps like this is just such a travel necessity for me because I'm constantly losing my phone. The other day I was at a bar and I definitely left it on the table because my hands, I had too much of my hands and then I, I actually left it there. Thank God no one took it because an hour later I was dancing and then I realized I didn't have my phone. So then I ran back to the booth that we were at and luckily there was a little jacket over my phone so no one saw it, so no one took it. But like, if I was wearing this, I wouldn't have been stressed for a solid five minutes in my life. Also, you don't have to feel guilty about having multiple different colors because they are actually made out of 100% recycled materials. So it's a sustainable way to still be fashionable. So honestly, whether you're traveling or not, no matter what you're doing this summer, I highly, highly recommend getting one of these phone straps. I'm gonna have my link in the description box because if you go to www.casetify.com slash Marie, you can get 15% off your entire order, whether that's a phone case or a phone strap. So um, yeah, thank you so much to Casetify for sponsoring. I love you guys, I'm obsessed with you. And thank you for always making me look stylish. What's cool because I just got back from a trip is all my shit is pretty much packed up. I feel like I should still consolidate it because I'm trying to have the smallest suitcase possible. Like I've already said a million bajillion times. <laughs> this, these were in here from Coachella. I'm like, I don't, I don't need these. Boob tape, a thousand percent a must. I got these clear makeup cases from Amazon. I'm gonna have them linked below. Remy got them. She convinced me to get them. They're by the brand Beauty Goodies. Them being clear is so nice when you're looking for stuff, but I'll just have one that's like mostly hair, one that's hygiene stuff, etc., whatever. And it's so nice. They've helped my traveling and packing situation so much. We have toner, sunscreen we need. Oh, I actually need to refill this lotion. I also used to never use travel tube like sized stuff until more recently and I don't know why I never did it because I swear it's changed my life. This is the Kiehl's Creme de Croix. I personally think is one of the best lotions because it has like a little bit of a glimmer shimmer moment. Also, I'm rooming with TK and Taryn. Hopefully if I forget anything, my girls got my back, you know? They got, they got something. Sunscreen, toner, lotion, serum, moisturizer, face wash, little like face toner pads. This is one of my favorite face masks. Amazing. This is my face moisturizer and we're gonna put it into this little travel guy. I'm like, do I have a funnel? How do I do this? I like how I'm here trying to like give you guys tips when in reality I'm a hot mess myself trying to figure this out. <laughs> okay, I have these clean spoolies so I'm just going to scoop and dump. This is not the way to do it. But we all know I like doing things the hard way. Ah, God. I really thought this was gonna be the move. Okay, it literally only took me a probably a good 10, 15 minutes, but we got the moisturizer in here. It's so much better. We have serum, toner, face lotion, body lotion, sunscreen. On this side and on this side, we have cleanser, serum, facial pads, and a face mask. So all this is obviously like face, skincare, all of that stuff. This big one, I like putting everything hair related because it just fits bigger things like my hairbrush and stuff. But we have dry shampoo, a ton of little clear rubber bands, pomade, 
I'm also gonna throw my boob tape in here because why the fuck not? My doll, this one's le way less organized. Contacts, yes, I wear contacts. Toothbrush, toothpaste, body wash, deodorant, little hair clip, honestly, cute. But you get the picture, I'm obsessed with these, you absolutely need them, they are life-changing. If I actually remember, I'll put the link to everything below for my affiliate links and regular links. All right, I'm currently trying on some clothes because I've learned to actually try shit on and not just pack it. I've been posting on Instagram on stories like asking you guys to help me pack, but thoughts on these. They're definitely less like baggy cargo than I thought they were gonna be, but they're very comfortable. They're from Mahe. I like them. I wish they were just like a little more like baggy, but I feel like this is Italy vibes, you know? Okay, I tried on this green dress. It was a hard no, um, hard no. I really like this one. This one's from Revolve. But why I like it is because it feels like a t-shirt material, so it's not gonna get wrinkled. I don't have to iron it. I definitely will want some like boob tape so the girlies look good, but other than that, it's really cute. It's just, it's really comfortable. This feels very um, welcome party vibes. Or the wine tasting. Kind of cute, kind of slay. Um, I think I'm gonna pack this one. Okay, I kind of feel like the emoji. I love the dress, but part of me feels like I should wait till my hair is brunette again. Also, it definitely rides up. So if I wore this at the wedding, like I would constantly be pulling it down. This fits, like it snatches me though. I feel like I feel really good in it. I just feel like my hair kind of clashes with it. <laughs> also, wow, my period boobs are period boobing in, in the best way possible. That was a nip slip. Like, I'm not even wearing boob tape. Shit! Guys, does my hair clash or does it not clash? Please help me comment below. Okay, I feel like I have made so much progress with figuring out what I wanna wear. I still have a lot more I need to do packing wise, um, but at least we got it started. This is my new carry-on. I hope, I hope I like it. Also, um, it was really hot and I changed and I just realized I have not shaved under my arms. So now I drew attention to it, which is amazing. So let me go, Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say don't mind, but now I'm just, I'm insecure and weird. So I'm like, mm, maybe I do care. I'm gonna put a jacket on. We're back. Like I was saying earlier, I bought a carry-on suitcase. Do I have other carry-on ones? Yes. I don't know if I'm embarrassed or like it feels like a lot of work, but whenever I put a bag above my seat in an airplane, I hardly ever go up there to grab something unless I like direly need it. So I easily talk myself, like even if I'm hungry and have a snack up there, I'm like, Ugh. in my head, I make it this big problem that it's not like, at least you just get your ass up, go, turn, open the thing and grab whatever you need, right? Unfortunately, as I've gotten older, I've learned, oh, just, Figure out ways to, to work with your quirks, to live with your quirks, you know? One of those things is I was like, what if I get a carry-on that has a lot of pockets on the front? So when I'm going through the airport, if I'm like, oh, I need to grab my digital camera or something, boom, stick it right there. I carried this camera with me in Japan, but it's actually like, it's really heavy. So with everything being in my backpack, like honestly, my I already have like borderline sclerios, sclerios, scol. Gloriosis? What's the back problem where your spine's crooked? Scoliosis. Where was I getting the R? That's weird. Anyways, I already have, it's not technically enough of a degree to be scoli scoliosis. I can't fucking talk. Now I just seem illiterate and like an idiot. Okay. Anyways, you get the idea. I bought this bag, okay? Now, will it fix all my problems? Probably not, but we can try. I searched carry-on case with pockets and I ended up getting, I really, really, really wanted the Ramoa one, which is, it's a stupid expensive suitcase, but they have lifetime warranties, the silver like aluminum one. I wanted it so bad. It didn't solve the problem that I was wanting of I need one less thing that makes it hard for me to get something in a carry-on, right? I truly don't mind checking my luggage. I know a lot of people who are like, oh, I don't want it to get lost. So I'm gonna bring a carry-on for like my clothes and my stuff like that. For me, I'm specifically using this to help my back so I don't have to wear a backpack. So even if this is stored above my seat, at least when I stand up, I can just like open it and grab something really quick, easy out of it. But the main reason why I personally loved it was because I can just slide my laptop right in here. Oh, that's it. 
I feel like this is an updated what's in my school bag. Like this feels like a backpack. I'm like, I have my laptop here, put my charger in here. My hard drives honestly will go in here. But even here, it's like I've tried to go, put perfume, this pocket. So far I put all of the like techie stuff. So I have like a phone battery, headphones, thing for my AirPods, extra vlog battery. Like it's all just organized and it makes me feel so <laughs> satisfied. I'm still gonna have a backpack, but I think I'm just gonna put very light stuff in there. And then I'm gonna bring one that I can slide onto the carry-on to still help my back even more. But I'm excited to try this out, be more organized, be able to carry extra stuff on the plane. And then on top of it, I'm excited for my back because apparently I'm getting old and that's what you do when you get old. You find things to help your back. Update you guys, I ended up needing the bigger suitcase. <laughs> Let's be real, we all knew I would end up using the bigger one, but I didn't fill it up all the way, which is really nice. The carry-on is already so nice because it just holds so much, but it's almost midnight. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. There's still a few more things I need to get in the morning. I always text myself anything that I need to like not forget the morning of a flight and then I'll send it to myself. Then you get a message that looks unread, but do not open it. And then that way in the morning, it'll say you have a new text message and then it's from you and it has the list. And I've never forgotten something because of that. One of those life hacks that back in the day I shared on YouTube that I literally use every single time I travel. The other problem is that the weather keeps changing drastically. It's either like sunny and no rain or it's saying that there's thunderstorms. So I tried to bring like layerable stuff cause I have no idea if it's gonna be hot. Well, it looks like it's gonna be hot no matter. I have no idea. If you're in Italy, let me know. Actually, it won't matter because I'll probably, you know, I'll already be there or I'll already be home by the time you see this. I'm not sure. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow and we will go to Italy and I'm so excited. Okay, love you guys, bye. <laughs> Got, 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 got